My name is Revere Lanou. I was born in Baltimore, Maryland, um, played lacrosse there, then came to the University of Notre Dame and played lacrosse for Kevin Corrigan and graduated in 1999. Now I am an artist, entrepreneur, and filmmaker here in Durham, North Carolina. People use the word determination, tenacity, uh, to describe athletes, but you need it to do art as well. There are four things that I want to convey about how this painting came to be and uh, why I decided to do it. I know how hard people work to wear that blue and gold. And I think they work harder at Notre Dame than they do at any other program that I've come in contact with. And so it just really bothers me to the core when people turn on the athletes on the field and call themselves fans. So this piece of art I made was to remind them that there's a whole body of people and a community of people who care beyond a play, who care beyond a game, who care beyond a season, but care generations deep about what it is they feel that Notre Dame stands for. The second part follows that, which is to be a unifying piece. So for the other people, for the people who care about Notre Dame 365, 24-7, and don't waver based on the success or failure of its sports teams, I wanted to create a piece that spoke to them. Number three is I wanted to express and portray my experience at Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish are the physical, powerful embodiment of Notre Dame and I had never seen that represented in the form of immigrants or you know actual historical figures. So I wanted to take the opportunity to portray my feelings in the, in the form of art. And number four was the sense of giving back. I wanted to offer Notre Dame a set of images that celebrated the things that I feel it holds sacred. This was meant to be a tribute. And not just to Irish ancestry, but to all of the immigrant people that worked so hard to make going to Notre Dame possible. So I'm, I'm beginning now as the piece sort of takes on a life of its own, I'm beginning to feel like it accomplished those goals. I think he captured the essence of what Notre Dame's about, and we hope the, the essence of what our team is about, and that is, hey, you know, it's about a, a humility, it's about a work ethic, it's about a, a, a commitment, contributing to success and, and, and the values that you share uh, and, and the support that you, you know, that no one does it alone, that if you, if you are successful, it's as much because of the people who supported you as it is about your own efforts. And I, I think he captured all of that in a, in a painting that, that, uh, that we really, you know, take to heart. When I first heard that Coach Corrigan felt as though I had captured a lot of what Notre Dame and being fighting Irish was, I would say I was pretty shocked actually. And in fact, the story is that I had been in contact with him as I was kind of putting this idea together. I had sent him some drafts. And then when I finally had the actual piece finished, I went to his office and he wasn't there. And I actually like left it in his office and hightailed it out of there. And then went back a little bit later and found out that he actually loved the print and totally got it. I didn't need to explain any of the choices I made. And now he's Irish and he's been in Notre Dame for a long time and he's certainly got fight in him. But I was really moved that he understood that because I had only known him pretty one dimensionally as a coach, as me as an athlete and not an artist. This is the 14th print of a 300 print series and it was in 2009. Number one of 300 belongs to Coach Corrigan. Um, he was the first person to receive one of these and number two of 300 belongs to my parents. 
One of the few things we have in our locker room, you know, hanging is a, is a painting that he did that he gave to us, kind of a, a unique personification of what the fighting Irish means. In Rev's view, it's a faceless, blue-collar person with, with people, you know, fading into the background of similar ilk. It's about the history, it's about the, the tradition, it's also about the, the people who stand behind, you know, the people who represent. So I think it's a, it's a great, really interesting way of looking at uh, our university, of looking at our team and, 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 and the people here and the people who've come before you. I can't tell you how many people told me this was like a bad idea, that, that Notre Dame had what it needed in terms of imagery. So I had to kind of rely on an internal grit, but also really feeling like I owed this to my ancestors. I know that sounds a little strange, but my grandfather, huge Notre Dame fan, and grew up in Indiana. I come from a line of, of farmers and uh, factory workers, and that, appreciation for the people who worked so hard before me powered me through this blank canvas. I would say there are at least three times where I was ready to rip it up and throw it in the dumpster because it just, it's like, who am I? What am I trying to do? How, how can I possibly make something that people are going to get? So that's when you kick in this kind of like belief in yourself and this understanding that you got to power through it. And if you've done it before, you can probably do it again. Interesting to kind of see how things evolved. Um, you know, I looked at kind of just the people and their waists and sort of their upper body. And this was fog. Um, and then the, obviously the ultimate piece, I realized that the surrounding story was important. It wasn't just about these guys. It was about their story. Um, I looked at a lot of different types of ways to letter. Um, these are Celtic braids. Uh, these guys are all blue here, um, even though they're sun. The first thing I think about when you mention this painting vis-a-vis -vis the current team is the number one defense in the country. That piece is as much about team defense as it is any other dimension of Notre Dame lacrosse. Coach Corrigan from day one has preached team defense and that filters through every position on the field. And so it's a combination of teamwork and swagger and I see that with this team. I see it on ground balls, the defender pushes the ball forward. The amazing choreography of the way they work together and the unselfishness. And they're like a 19-headed dragon right now. I mean, they don't have that one go-to guy that a lot of teams have. Anybody can get you, and that's a function of real teamwork. And frankly, I would love to play with this team. I would love to be 20 again and run with these guys and play defense with these guys and be that backside push that comes through to make that defensive stop. Um, but. You know, those days are past, so the fact that I can contribute in this very small way with this image and hopefully um, inspire that extra inch of effort or pride or swagger, um, that's pretty awesome. I mean, that's pretty much as, as much as I could ask for, given the goals I had for the piece of uniting and you know reiterating a system of values that those guys every day you know, when they're preparing to play their games and then also when they're on their way out to play their games, that that is one of the last images they see. It just makes me very proud.